what if you are tracking content and you're seeing that there are certain topics that you do that don't necessarily get more likes per reach. It's not necessarily getting more, it's not necessarily more attractive or more popular, but the comments you're getting for those topics are much deeper or more aligned with the types of people you're trying to reach, the kind of stuff you want to talk about. You're enjoying the engagement from those things, even though it's not kind of like getting shallow likes. I, I think that's another, that's, that's, that's not a quantitative metric, but it's certainly a qualitative metric that tells you the market, your ideal market, essentially, your ideal audience is voting for those pieces. So even though we, not, we can't necessarily track it in the spreadsheet, you could, you could put a column, right? You could literally put a column in the spreadsheet called you know, depth of comments or aligned comments or something. And you could use your own gut sense to say, I'm gonna rate it from zero to 10 <laughs> on uh, the quality of comments I'm getting on each post. This was a, this was a 10. My goodness, like I, I want to, to, to engage more in this conversation versus the quality of comments I'm getting on this post are like, amen, yes. You know, like it's a, it's a yeah, I'm getting comments, but it's a, it's a one or a two. So you certainly, then you could sort the spreadsheet by quality comments that, you know what? Not only should I make more video, make more videos or content on the ones that are getting popular because that does help grow the audience. And I should also sort by the column of quality of comments and I should make more videos there too or com content there too because it's getting the kind of people or kind of engagement that I want, so. <laughs>